All right, I'm gonna to try to do this video quick because we've had a lot of rain and the mosquitoes are back. But in today's video, I'm featuring these really cool, pretty, there's two whites going on here in my garden right outside of the mudroom. And one of them is a daisy and I'm really excited about it. And I'm gonna show it to you today and give you a few tips on how to grow it. And it's a great one because you'll be able to find it because I found it, it was at Home Depot. So you can find it anywhere if you can find it at Home Depot. <laughs> All right, here it is. I'm gonna try to get this video up as quick as I can because I've got so much work to do. As you can tell, there's a lot of weeds in this garden here, but I wanna showcase this. Um, my, I think it's called a Montauk. I'll put the name in the bottom right here so you can see it. And of course, I'll be writing about it on my website if you're interested. But here it is right here. It's a gorgeous daisy. It's very full and hardy. And it, the cool thing about it is it doesn't bloom until late late and actually early autumn uh, i had this beautiful green most of um the late summer days and i was anxiously waiting when is this daisy gonna bloom and now it finally bloomed and i just love it i just watched a video online and somebody was saying they didn't like the scent of it because you could cut these and bring them in it's real hearty woody kind of um stem plant to it and I think mine got like this it was stretching for the sun first of all I did not prune this back and it is recommended that you can prune this early in the season like early spring which I'll probably try next year um, I didn't do that and it was also blocked because I had uh, various other perennials coming up around it so that might be why it didn't take on a lot of green at the bottom because it wasn't getting a lot of sunshine because things like my sedum and i also had a oh a daylily i pruned back big time was probably shading it as well but i highly recommend this because it's gorgeous i did see on a video and uh, a friend of mine told me that she's grown this before and hers gets close to six feet tall when you give it space. So I don't know if I'll try that, but it sounds like a cool plan. So here it is. Oh, the other thing was somebody said they didn't like the scent of it, which is kind of a funny story. Um, I saw these uh, after they bloomed uh, a couple of years ago out at a landscape at a restaurant locally. I was trying to figure out what in the world it was and I could smell the scent of this. And you know what it reminds me of? It actually reminds me of a lavender, like this lavender, but someone said they didn't like the smell of it. I love it. It's, it's, it smells a lot like a lavender. So, um, and how can you beat that? It's a gorgeous white in your autumn garden when your mums are blooming look at this this is one of my hardy blooms so there it is and i hope you will give it a try holy smokes i'm totally getting attacked the mosquitoes are back after all the rain we had but uh, i hope you'll give those plants a try look how pretty they are they just pop in the landscape uh especially in autumn it's nice to have some nice color gosh there's a mosquito right on my glasses <laughs> i hope you guys will uh leave me a comment on this video and of course please 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 stop over at my website at brenhaus.com where you will find this and other creative living ideas hope to see you there